this video lecture i am going to evaluate limit x tend to a sin x minus sin a divided by x minus a so let's see the answer so first here writing the given so here limit x tend to a sin x minus sin a divided by x minus a so here we can easily achieve the output if i assume x minus a equal to y okay then x we can write y plus a after that here since x tend to a then y tend to x tend to a so a minus a y tend to 0 okay now thereafter we can write limit y tend to 0 after that in x plus we can write sin a plus y minus sin a and divide by y x minus a equal to y after that here we need to use the formula called sin x minus sin y that is equal to 2 cos x plus y by 2 into sin x minus y by 2 so writing this limit y tend to 0 so this here 2 cos a plus y plus a divided by 2 into sin a plus y minus a divided by 2 and here y after that this a a cancel and here limit y tend to 0 this here 2 cos 2a plus y divided by 2 and here sin y divided by 2 here y is there so we need to make that y so y 2 dividing then multiplying 2 ok so this we need to do that after that we can write so limit y tend to 0 this here 2 cos 2a plus y divided by 2 and into sin y by 2 divided by y by 2 into 1 by 2 so this 2 to cancel and we know the formula of limit x tend to 0 sin x divide by x that is equal to 1 ok so this here cos y tend to 0 that means 2a plus 0 divide by 2 this return 1 because here y by 2 y by 2 in place of y by 2 you can assume x then sin x by x equal to 1 and here y tend to 0 when after that here this cos 2a plus so 0 that is 2a 2a 2 to cancel now here you can get cos a so this is the answer of this uh, uh, limit question one time going to repeat so here uh, we can easily achieve the output when i assume x minus a equal to y y here x tend to a y tend to pi by y tend to 0 after that x equal to y plus a x plus a plus y put and use this formula and after doing the calculation here you can get cos a so this is the way we can find the value of this limit questions so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see next week thank you